Hey guys, uh, really excited to make this video today. We're gonna be uh, reviewing, unboxing, and installing these Carolina Metal Master uh, JL mirrors. It has the ball mount solution and the mirrors. So let's get into it. So to start off, kind of talking to you guys a little bit about these mirrors. Um, they, first off, are not the cheapest option on the market. They're probably the most expensive option on the market, but they are probably the best quality and the most versatile option on the market. You're probably gonna be spending, the MSRP is like 250 for uh, the ball mount solutions and the mirrors for both sides. They sell them separately. They sell you know, just the ball mount solutions, everything separate. My first experience with mirrors for my Jeep JL was uh, very limited and a lot of options. You know, there's not a lot of great contact points on the JL and the market hasn't quite caught up to it to make a lot of versatile options so far. There really is just, you know, the options that uh, go on the hinge of your car. You can get those on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I actually purchased those initially. The issue that I had with the hinge um, mirrors, those cheap $30 ones, is mostly that they don't stay put at all. Um, you really tighten them down and almost to the point of damaging the hinge, and that's something obviously you want to avoid. And even with driving at 45 miles per hour, the wind started to kind of push and turn those mirrors in. And I noticed that, you know, I wasn't even, I actually didn't even want to take it on the highway for that fact. I was just driving around town and they started to turn in, they would vibrate. Um, and overall was just, you know, a bad solution. And, you know, they didn't look the best. So um, I transitioned, I wanted to transition to these and make this purchase. It was a big purchase. Um, for a couple of reasons because uh, I noticed that these mirrors are very um, easy to put on and take off basically the ball mount solutions thing that you permanently fix to the oh shit handle um, well I mean of course you can unscrew it and replace it with the old cap but it's something that you leave in place um, and then the mirror this arm you just unscrew and pull off you'll see that in the installation that we're gonna go through so some other great features are that they are very sleek inside of your vehicle to the point of where, you know, no trees or rocks that you're going by would knock them off. So that's a plus. And uh, another great thing is that the mirrors themselves, you know, reflect very well. Obviously they're mirrors, but um, you know, they're five inches in diameter and I was worried that that might not be enough, but you know, driving around town um, it was perfect. The driver's side mirror gave me all the view that I could possibly need. The passenger side mirror, it is a little tight, I would say, but I think I just need to adjust it just right. And then I'll have, you know, great, uh, coverage, you know, from our ability and visibility behind me. One other thing that I thought was a great, um, addition with these is compared to the mirrors that are mounted on your hinges is that you can adjust these you know from just sitting in your front seat um i can sit here and just easily you know torque this one so it's perfectly um in place and then the other one on the driver's side or passenger side i can reach over and i can have enough reach to adjust that one with the ones that were mounted on my hinges i would have to you know move over get this one adjusted go around the vehicle adjust the one on the passenger side sit back down see if it was good if it wasn't, I had to walk back all the way out around, adjust it, and just repeat that until it was perfect. So easier to adjust with these. Uh, the little experience I've had driving with them, um, I've noticed that they don't rattle and they don't, um, you know, vibrate a ton with the vehicle's movement. And I think that is because it has, you know, great rubber gaskets on every contact point, um, and everything's, you know, very sturdy. The other thing is that I'll show you. It's a very it's a very sleek design. You know, it fits this groove perfectly. They molded it, so it is a very attractive replacement. This isn't something that you're gonna add to your vehicle and you're gonna look at and say, you know, it's ugly. This is very aesthetically pleasing and, you know, well worth the money. I think that, you know, of course, since I bought it, that it was, you know, well worth the money. Some downsides to these mirrors that I've noticed is, well, for one, the major one is the price. Um, however, you can use a 10% discount code. I'll mark that um, on the screen. And then if you call the company, 
um, or email them. You could even ask them if there's anything else additional they could do to give you a discount. They're expensive, but they're great customer service and they're willing to work with you, you know, potentially if you ask nicely. So um, price is one thing. The other thing is that the mirror itself, the, the whole mount solution is great. Um, it's well engineered, but the mirror itself is kind of just the generic kind of cheap, you know, metal mirror that you would find really anywhere. Um, hopefully that's because, you know, if it scratches, you can replace it. But that was actually leads to be another downside is I wish it would come with like a cap for the mirror. So that way when you're storing them, when they're not in use, you know, they don't get scratched. And because you're not going to have these on your vehicle all the time. You're gonna have them, you know, in your bucket of, you know, uh, overlanding gear. And the last downside um, is not with the ball mount solution or the mirror itself, but with an additional purchase I made, which was the uh, lock and key for uh, the thumb screw. It's really not that great because it's supposed to be tamper proof, but you can see that it's it's still a. If I can get a good angle on this. It's still a it's still a thumb screw. So no matter how much you tighten this down, um, I feel like I could still, with enough effort, pull this you know unscrew this thing because it's a thumb screw. It would be nice if it was just set inside of the ball mount solution, so that way um, potential theft wouldn't even have the opportunity of removing it. So sixty dollars for those locking key um, for the mirrors. I don't think it's worth it. I would have. Probably I probably should just return them, but you know if someone wants these they could probably get them off without the key One last thing I want to touch on was they give you the option of a one inch or a 20 millimeter ball mount Now one inch is about 25 millimeters and then they get there's the other one which is the 20 millimeters um, The difference is obviously the size but the larger the ball the more um, weight it can support if you have a mount so keep that in mind I went with the, the one inch moved slightly bigger so that way maybe it can accommodate um, a GoPro or something like that and you know just you know that little extra it's it's not a noticeable difference I feel like you know it looks that should be standard is the one inch so um, I don't have any ball mount devices that I can you know link up to this but uh, I'll probably get some down the down the road Maybe get a phone mount for here, we'll see. So with all that, we'll get started on the unboxing and the install. Um, and yeah, we'll get going, uh, and I appreciate you guys watching. All right, so let's unbox these mirrors. You can see that this is the size of the box. It says, uh, made in the USA, big sticker on the side. So let's get this thing open. Okay, so the box is open. Show you everything inside. Um, it looks like those are the thumb screws and the nuts for attaching the mirrors to the ball mount solution. That's one mirror. That's the second mirror. You got the uh, arms for the mirrors. And these are the ball mount solutions that you'll be replacing that uh, plastic panel with. And then just a sticker and looks like just a little bit of their information. All right, let's take a closer look at some of the components. I took them all out of the bubble wrap and I'm actually gonna keep the bubble wrap because they come in these like nice little bubble wrap pouches, at least the mirrors do and some of the other components. And I'm gonna hold on to these, probably put them away when I'm not using them in here and then um, use a t-shirt to wrap them up or something in store. But yeah, it would be nice if there was an actual storage bag. So that aside, um, first thing we'll look at, this is the actual ball mount solution. You can see that it's all black. The ball mount itself is kind of a uh, shiny, whereas this is a matte coat. And everything's really nicely put together. You can see their logo right there. This looks very well made, very sleek. So that's the ball mount solution. Um, this is one of the arms for the mirrors. Again, you can see it's that textured matte black finish. This measures out to be nine inches, almost exactly. And then here's the uh, thumb screws and the screws for that to attach the mirror to the arm. Um, again, matte black, this is metal quality. Um, these are some rubber O-rings. I did notice that you're gonna wanna make sure when you 
open these, you make sure this doesn't, you don't lose this little O-ring because at first I was like, oh crap, they didn't include me uh, with an O-ring on each, but it was just still in the bag so that it popped out. So for the mirrors, these are the mirrors. So it's just kind of a stamped uh, metal. So you screw it in. Once you have them fixed in place, you tighten these screws to make sure that this stays put when you're driving. Let's see what the actual diameter of these mirrors are. They are about five inches in diameter. So yeah, we'll uh, get to the installation. All right, so the tools you'll need for this install are a screwdriver, um, a quarter inch, I believe this is a quarter inch um, Allen key, just head, a Phillips head screwdriver, a six millimeter Allen key, a non-marring pry tool, and then lastly, you'll need a large Allen key. Uh, I'll list on the screen what size you'll need for this. It was just the largest one I had. This is for attaching the ball mount to the mount itself, or the ball to the mount itself, and we'll show you that. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so to get started, you're gonna wanna remove this plastic trim piece right here. This is really easy to remove. You just go into the side of it right here and lift it and it pops out. Now, a lot of guys, I've seen videos just pulling this straight out and breaking it, but if you just, you know, gently work it out, it's kind of snaked up there, you can pull it and it won't break, so you can reuse your, you know, factory piece if you want to at some time in the future. Um, yeah, I'm a big proponent of that, keeping, you know, all your factory pieces and keeping them in good shape. Uh, this one is easy to put back in since it's a point, you just feed it back up, click it in place. Now you're going to take your socket wrench and your extension and your 10 millimeter socket and you're going to undo this bolt that's through this oh shit handle that's holding it in place. Be gentle with all this stuff, you know, try not to go too fast or use too much pressure because you just want to keep all these little threads in good condition. Just like that, comes out. Now you're gonna take your ball mount solution and you're gonna unscrew this. So this is on, they leave it pretty loose so that we can just do it by hand, but this was the large Allen key I was talking to you about. Uh, you're gonna wanna, if it's too tight, you loosen and tighten it with that. And just like that, the bolt that will replace that one we just pulled out falls through. Push it up, push this in, hold it in place. This is where you'll take your Allen key on your screwdriver through here. I just found this easier than using an Allen key itself because you get a little more reach and it's a little narrow in there. Now you don't want to over tighten any of this. So just nice and snug like that. We'll clean that up later. You're gonna replace the ball. It has some uh, grease on it, I think just to keep the threads in good condition. It's kind of tricky to get on. Finger tight and then cinch it down. You don't wanna over tighten this, but you know, just enough to prevent theft. So there you go, the ball mount solution's installed. Now we'll install the arm and it just goes through inside right there. I'm gonna keep this hole pointed directly out because that's where the mirror will go. And you'll put your thumb screw on this side. I purchased the $60 um, anti-theft thumb screw because you don't want you know someone just to make off with your mirrors. But same concept, you just screw it on like you would with your thumb, thumb screw. And you're gonna to wanna to get that down pretty tight. So then you would use this, which is their anti-theft little you know, thing to tighten it down. Uh, the prongs just go into it. And you would use, it looks like a really large Allen key, but I don't have an Allen key that big to use. So I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and figure that out. But just finger tight for now will work. I'll put the um, on the screen how big the Allen key will be you'll need for this. But you can see you would just slide it on and use the Allen key to tighten it down. All right, now we'll take our mirror. It says 
caution on this little sticker. It says caution, um, keep hands off glass when adjusting mirror, loosen bolt if necessary, just so you don't scratch or damage or mar up the lens. So you take this, straighten it out, put it through, thumb tight, and then this is when you'll use your six millimeter Allen key to tighten this portion of the mirror to attach it to the arm. All right. And of course, you, it's not the same Allen key for all the components. I'm sure they do that for theft purposes. Like this one won't work there or at the end of there. Just like that, you're done. Adjust your mirrors. Once you have your mirrors adjusted, you'll take your Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down those three so that way they stay fixed in place when the wind's hitting it. This is just kind of a walk around of what it looks like. You can see the mirrors on either side don't uh, extend out far at all so that way if you're on the trail, you know, no rocks are going to damage them. They're only sticking out, looks like two and a half inches on either side. All right, and that wraps it up, guys. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. And uh, until next time.